Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. I just wanted to do a quick rundown of how to download the activities that I am sharing for free until Christmas. And I also wanted to just kind of address some of the questions that I've been getting a lot on how to make copies. I also want to explain why I am not going to leave open the drives for longer than this and why you can't just star them. And really the main reason is because that protects my drive. But another is because this is this has hundreds of hours of my work that I am offering just as a Christmas thing and a thank you for those of you that have subscribed to me. So if you want to subscribe and continue to see the growth of my channel, I will continue to do things like this where I offer free activities. I also have free activities that are available already that you're welcome to go take a look at. Uh, but I do want my channel to continue growing. I don't ask for payment or anything in return. So I think that by subscribing and leaving these open until Christmas, it's kind of like hitting the jackpot for a little while. But let me just explain how to download these. I personally do use these in my own teaching all the time. That's why you'll continue to see new things coming. Uh, because I do make new ones. I update them and I always share them. I want my impact uh, to be far, my reach to go far. So by going to my channel, you want to go into the community posts. Okay. If you don't see community, you might just see the word posts. So it's either community or posts. So I'm going to click over on community and go down to the uh, post that says last post for 25 days of free templates. From here, you're going to see all the different folders. I suggest that you look around, see what interests you. If you don't teach math, then you probably want to stick to all the folders that say templates. The other ones that say resources or activities, those are the ones that I teach. So they're all math ones ready to go for the classroom. But I want to go into the AP Stats activities because this is the one that has a plethora of uh, folders in here. From here, if you wanted to make bulk copies, it's not going to let you. It might allow you to do it, but those copies aren't really going anywhere because you are not the owner of this drive. So if you notice, I did log on with someone else's account, and this is so that I can show you what it would look like to someone that is not me. Okay, so if you are interested in making bulk copies, you will have to go into a folder like this one, for example, that doesn't have additional folders in it. You cannot make a copy of a folder. Google won't let you do that. So you do have to come into a folder without any other folders. And you can tell because there's no other folder here. Um, so, all right. And then yes, you will have to do this individually. If you only find one activity that you want, it's a lot simpler, you just go file, make a copy. Okay, but I'm trying to look for one that has a lot. Okay, so this one has quite a bit. So I'm using the significance test. I am going to control A to select everything. And then from here, notice how there's 17 items selected. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna go to make a copy. Okay, notice how it's saving 17, it's making a copy of 17 files. Okay, so just gonna keep going. If you notice when these files are being copied, usually it's defaulting to make those copies into my drive. But you don't own my drive, right? This person does not own my drive. So they won't be able to save those copies that are currently being made. So where are these copies going? Okay, so if you go over to your, see it says copied 17 files into my drive. So if I go over to my drive, this is where these files are now. Okay, I wanna show you now the difference. Okay, when I open this, right, this axis is mine, right? This is mine, I can change this. Okay, the ones that are in my drive. If I go back, so again, now I'm on my drive because I moved there, but if I go back here and I go into, was it significance test, right? There are no copies here. If I try to go here, it's view only. I don't have access to that, right? I If I'm gonna make a copy of this one, file, make a copy. Here, if I hit make a copy, this copy is going to be access denied because I don't have access to that folder. 
and then I keep getting messages like, hey, I can't access. So what you have to do is you have to go to file, make a copy, and then choose the folder in your own drive to let this go into. So I'm just gonna select this one. Again, my drive, select, make a copy. Now this one I have access to, I can edit. I hope that you found this useful. Again, major tips is you do have to go into a, if you wanna mass copy, you can't mass copy anything that has a folder in it. You have to go into a folder that doesn't have any other folders in it if you wanna mass copy. And they will default to my drive. From here, you can then move them, okay? So, and if you're gonna go one at a time, the default for one at a time is my folder You'll have to click out of that or it'll give you an error. Okay, I hope that this was useful. And again, if it's gonna take you a day or two, I will leave them up at least until Christmas um, for you to have time to go and make all those copies. Um, and just, you know, I, I would encourage you, take a day, make all the copies, copy everything. I don't want to keep these from everybody, but I do have to protect my drive. And I the number of emails that I'm getting with people asking for requests is insane, which is why I need to turn them off because then I can start filtering my emails again. So I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that you end up using all of the activities. They are there for you for a reason. Thank you so much for those of you that have subscribed, for those of you that leave me comments. I absolutely love it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.